Alright guys, we're going to be on Airfield in the LT432, and this map, man, I know that they kind of changed some things around on this map somewhat recently. It was like months and months ago, but it still feels kind of recent. Like, whenever I get on this map, I still think it's the old map. But you do have this whole different area out here now. They changed the middle around a little bit, and they also changed this area around a little bit now, so that you kind of have two little pockets you can poke out of. And what do I do? on this map in order to get a good score well you kind of just have to camp it out guys right that's what you have to do in this game the lt432 is a very powerful light tank i don't want to throw my hp away at the start of the battle and some people will try and poke this ridge line here like you can do this and also people really like to come out to this b line now I find this to be ineffective for something like the LT-432. If you're in a passive scout, you might want to try going out to this B-line up north. I think it's more effective that way. I've sat out there in even 90, LHMTV, certain tanks, and I've had much better games because what you'll find out there is that you really need like a sneaky tank that's kind of small in order to can keep yourself behind the rocks that are out there. And if you're sneaky enough, you can poke out, get a shot into like the side of a heavy or something like that, and then poke back again. The only issue with sitting out there is that sometimes it's hard to retreat, especially if you don't have a lot of concealment. Because once you try and run out of here, like all these people will have shots, especially if you get lit by another light tank that's sitting here as well, right? So you're, you guys are welcome to try whatever you want to try on this map, but I like to just sit right here in the middle of the map I continue poking this push line and that's it like I just wait for people to poke I wait to see if anyone's going to try and poke up here as well anyone who's going towards the mid which will you'll see will happen a few times and see if I can possibly spot anyone back in this area so we're gonna go on two times and I'm this is gonna be a very long game guys like it ends in a draw I'll just spoil it for you it was a draw um, but we stay alive for a very, very long time, and I feel like this video is actually going to be one of my most informative videos. Despite it being on airfield, it was a really, really good game, and I conserved my HP, and I stayed alive till the very end, and got a lot of shots off of people, and I think we prevented um, a loss, and, you know, technically I consider a draw to be a loss. You guys, if you guys understand how win rate works in this game, a draw is as good as a loss because it's the same thing, right? Like your win rate is not improving with a draw, if that makes sense. So we're going to continue to poke this, guys. Eventually, I'm going to get a shot into the Fosh B here. I'll kind of slow it down whenever we get shots. And like, there's just nothing more to see here, guys. I don't want to go through this replay Um at regular speed because I feel like it's just going to be really boring. All I do is sit here pretty much three quarters of the game until I finally retreat. You'll see the AMX 30 is coming through here. We're going to get a shot to him as well. And this is what you're waiting for. You're just waiting for people. It was a terrible shot by me. But you're just waiting for people to push in and make mistakes. That's what you have to do on airfield. You can't throw away your HP on airfield. Airfield is just a garbage map. But honestly, it's like it's so much like ridge brawling and stuff like that. And not a lot of things that light tanks are going to be good at. So we do get a shot into the Kyrie. I'm lit, but I kind of wanted to try and hit this guy one more time. Unfortunately, it bounces on the top of the tank there. And we're in a hole here, right? The 122TM is trying to poke now. I'm afraid this guy might want to blind fire me. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on him. And I'm going to pull back to the very edge. Because I feel like if he does blind fire, it's going to go like that. If you know what I mean? So we spot him again. I'm trying to make sure this guy is going to blind fire me. And you'll see eventually, like, a lot of this team starts trying to push into the mid. Leo makes a poke here. We're able to clean him up. That's great. 874 damage and one kill. Like, honestly, on airfield, I'd almost be happy with that. Almost, right? Like, I like to get over a 1,000 damage and some spotting and stuff like that. But on this map, my expectations are never that high, which is good. Because when I get a really good game, then I'm very, very happy, right? So here's Fosh. I'm thinking, yeah, this shot probably isn't worth it right now. I'm going to load the APC, uh, the AP gold rounds because it's actually APs here. Um, and I'm going to wait just a little bit to see if this Fosh is going to try and blind fire me. Doesn't look like it. And now he's turning. So I'm going to smack a shot kind of into his side plate there in the track. And there you go. We're over 1,000 damage. And you just have to continue doing this. I'm at 1,100 HP, guys, and I've done my HP in damage already. So this is how you have to do it. Just be patient. Like, there's no reason. I don't care what anybody tells you. Like, LT, spot the 
bridge line. LT, I'm gonna be like, dude, just shut up, man, and let me play my game. That's how I am with light tanks now, especially on airfield, guys. There is nothing to spot on this map. If people are gonna poke this ridge line or they're gonna run this way, I'm gonna light them anyway. So I'm just gonna stay right here. There's no reason for me to move. Like, I'm not making all these stupid active scout runs and losing my HP, right? It's just not worth it. So I'm trying to see if I can get a shot into the Kyrie. We have him lit here. Um, I don't think we had any Artie in this game. If we did, we might have been able to uh, get some spotting on him there. And now I'm looking at the 122TM and seeing if I can get a shell into this guy. Now, because I'm uphill a little bit, I can actually smack him in the front plate, right? He actually lights me there like a second before I took the shot. So, a little, little scary, but we, we didn't take any damage, right? And now we're actually getting some assist damage. So, I don't care what your team says, guys. Just do this. Like, just camp it out. Do what you have to do. Don't be useless. Like you can see, I'm continuously poking this bush, trying to get spots into people as well. But don't just run out and do like the freaking EBR chicken without a head thing. Like on this map, it's not worth it. It's stupid. Don't throw away your HP. Conserve your HP and just camp it out, guys. Like this is this is the most important area of this map right here. All the heavies need to brawl it out. If your heavies are the worst players, then oh well. Like you're SOL, right? You know, if, if your team is is worse, then it, it is what it is. You have to just accept that. But we have 12, 10 damage and 228 assist. We're not being useless here, is my point, right? So now that all these people are in the mid, something important to note is you can see how I'm now on the other side here, right? Because if you, if you sit like here, you're going to get proxied, and then you'll poke like this, and people will have shots at you. So I'm actually sitting all the way over here now. And I'm trying to stay like as close to this side as I can because it's giving me like an extra, I don't know, five or 10 meters here between these guys that might be able to proxy me, right? And you'll see the Fosh actually, actually gets really close, man. And he spots me anyway, so. But nothing more to see here, guys. We're just going to continue to fast forward. Fosh B pokes this corner and he spots me. I'm looking at the M41. I didn't even know he was there, but I have to pull back because just in case someone is sitting back here, I don't want to get whacked, right? So here's the M41. We're going to put another shot into this guy. So we get two into the M41. Hopefully that helps um, these two tank destroyers that are getting YOLO'd over here. We've eliminated enough of his HP to kind of help them out, I hope. But this is what I mean, guys, right? You're going to spot people regardless, you know? You're going to spot people. Kyrie whacks me there, unfortunately. I'm trying to kind of get a better angle like away from the Fosh B. So I had to kind of put myself out in the open a little bit there. And now I'm, th you know, I'm thinking to myself, this area is no longer safe. Like I need to get out of here. I can't hold on any longer here because we're just losing too much map, right? So I'm going to run away before any of the heavies poke here. T-34 is still kind of holding this down. Tortoise is holding this down. And we're going to run away and live to fight another day right guys that's what you have to do just run away and i was going to go all the way back but i actually changed my mind and i'm going to come up here now and i'm going to keep all these buildings intact because later on i'm actually going to pull behind them as this team pushes but now we can do something and poke in this bush right and we have shots at these guys right i thought the su-130 was actually on the other side here but now we have a shot at the kari right i don't even get lit taking this shot gonna go one more time for his lower plate there it bounces and i'm hoping someone can take a shot into this guy 1740 damage guys you see how we're making this work though right so now i have a shot maybe at the m103 i'm able to hit that the 113 is right there and i know the kairi is going to want to poke on me so i timed that shot perfectly he actually appears right as i take the shot and 2000 damage guys like you just need to keep yourself alive and try not to get whacked by, you know anybody right so at this point I'm waiting for this guy to poke through I'm gonna hit him there and this is all just like game mechanic stuff right like he has to shoot these buildings down in order to hit me but as long as there's at least one piece of the building in front of me I'm fine right like I'm not gonna take any damage see how he shoots the building down there and now I can poke again hit his lower plate I can beat this guy's reload, so I'm going to go one more time for him here. But unfortunately, he's backing down there, and now I'm going to pull back. 2,400 damage, guys. And you see how it just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking, and this is how you need to do it on airfield, guys. Use your gun. The LT-432 is very good at brawling, so it's able to do this well. And I'm just trying to keep all these guys lit, right? That's all I want to do. 122TM is now here. I'm going to you know, try and get a little risky and poke this bush again, but I'm going to do it 
by backing my tank in. This way I can get out quicker if I have to, right? So I spot the M103 here. I'm trying to keep these guys lit for my four spirit and T103. I'm gonna poke like this. Sue is here, able to get a shot into the Sue. And I'm trying to watch the M103 as well. I'm gonna poke out one more time. Try and get that shot there. M103 just misses me. And that's all this game becomes, guys. It's just a matter of trying to outplay the enemy. 2600 damage. And we keep going up and up and up, guys. CX CS63 is going to YOLO that guy. And now I'm going to poke one more time. See, the M103 is here, but the LT432 has some really weird um, gun depression. And because I'm actually on this right here, this like building debris, it makes the tank go like this. There's these little things that you won't notice, guys, but you can see how that's actually affecting my gun depression. So just be mindful of things like that. So I try and get a shot into the M103, like the very front of his tank there. I can't quite get it. And now I'm gonna try on the Sioux. I'm able to get one into the Sioux because the angle is really hard for him, right? Like it may seem like I'm overexposing myself, but I'm telling you guys this angle, like from where he's at, I'll actually show you with the free replay camera if I can, let's see. Is it going to work? There we go. This angle for him is really hard. Especially moving with the Su-130, you can see how tough that is of a shot, right? Because I'm like right here and I'm pulling back and he's trying to hit that shot. Like, see how it's just it's just a difficult angle for him to, to, to make, right? Or di difficult shot for him to take, right, guys? So work the angles, try and get better angles than your enemy. And that's all, guys. Like we're at 2783 damage, right? And eventually this is going to become a draw. I'm going to come out here. I'm trying to get shot maybe into the Rhino. I'm trying to figure out where I want to sit. If I want to sit at this corner or I want to sit at this corner. And eventually I move here. I go like this. I'm trying to take a couple shots into the Rhino. This tank is really hard to pen. But we're trying our best. And now Waffle comes around. I load the HEs. Watch how I aim this. But it goes just to the right of him. Oh well, he kind of turns at the last second there. And now I'm lit and I'm going to try and get one to the RHM. That misses. And here, here comes the trollish accuracy, man. When I need to land one of these HE shots into the RHM, like one, the ones that are actually going to do a lot of damage, I can't quite get it. Luckily, this guy hits my gun. Right? The Fosh hits my gun. I'm going to try and take a shot at the Waffle. It misses like crazy because... Um, my gun was damaged, and that's the game, guys. Like, there's nothing more to see here, but these guys will stay alive. And it's a draw, right? But 2,783 damage, 228 assists, and I believe in the end plates, this ended up being 3k damage, guys. That's how you need to do the things on airfield. Just stay alive till the very end of the game. Do your best, and we got a draw. I mean, it's not a win, but at least I can say that if I wasn't alive for this game, it definitely would have been a loss. So four replays in a row that I've recorded where I actually made a difference in all of these games. And this is why I'm telling you guys, if you if you become a much better player, your win rate will go up, but it's not going to go up much past about like if you're a super Unicom, I don't think you can get much better than like a high, high 60s. I would argue like 67, 68% win rate or something like that because you can only affect so many games because there's just way too many stomps in World of Tanks. But anyway, that's all guys. I'll show you the end plates and I'll let you go. It was a third class game, 2783 damage. I was wrong. I thought I I remember having a couple blind shots in this one, but I was wrong. 2783 damage, guys. Four module damage, one kill. That's all. And we're top by experience here. T103 had a good game. Tortoise had a good game. Waffle had a pretty good game. You know, we we were just the... We, our team wasn't quite as good, but because we had a, a few, you know, really good players on our team, I think we were able to kind of hold these guys off. If this was like a 20-minute game, it probably certainly would have been a loss, actually. But these guys just weren't able to capitalize in time. And that's it, man. You can see, like, how much damage some of these top guys had, man. Fosh, Waffle, Sue, they all played really, really good games, but just wasn't good enough. Not, not in 15 minutes anyway. Maybe in 17 or 18 minutes, but not in 15. So that's it, guys. Um, every single time I do a video on the LT432, I remind you guys to run modified configuration unless you really need this slot for low noise exhaust on Malinovka, Muravanka, Westfield, Prokhorovka, etc. 
I always run this modify configuration on like three quarters of the maps because the LT432 is a matchbox. People tell you that you're sometimes wasting a slot. I'm telling you this thing, like I've played guys 966 battles in this tank. If you do not run the modify configuration, like every other game, you're going to get lit on fire. It's a matchbox. Just trust me, run the modify configuration. You'll um, thank me later. So that's all guys again cds in the scouting slot really really helps out um not on airfield but i think it's worth it for most maps so i highly suggest that you use the scouting slot for the cvs and hope you learned something on airfield guys stay alive that's all i can tell you guys to do just stay alive in your light tank um if you're learning from the content by the way guys do sub it would help me out and like comment share the video and i appreciate you all thank you very much for watching i'll see you for the next one take care Bye bye